the gods vanished and left our world in chaos, creating, altering, destroying. The anthem is all that remains. There's a storm coming. These walls can't protect us forever. Destroy us all. The battle royale genre has Fortnite, Call of Duty is the king of first person shooters, and shared world RPGs have, depending on who you ask, Destiny or Warframe. That is, until now. Enter Anthem, a brand new game from the legendary Bioware team bound for our consoles and computers on the 22nd of this month. It's difficult for now to say exactly how this game will shake things up in the world of cooperative play, but it's undeniably clear that it's here to make waves with no mercy. First revealed at E3 2017 on Microsoft Stage, Anthem left audiences nationwide stunned and after a few official demos and loads of new information, we're more ready than ever to launch ourselves into this brand new game with our friends and learn exactly what it is that Bioware cooked up for us this time around. Developed by Bioware, a team better known for its games such as Baldur's Gate, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age, they're one of the masters of providing gamers with expansive worlds and amazing stories to go along with them. I have full faith that they'll be able to provide us with a truly unique experience in this newest adventure. Anthem, a game centered in a currently unnamed world of which the residents of Fort Tarsus reside. Harnessing the anthem of creation, the Shapers set out to create the world in nine days, but vanished after three, leaving only their instruments behind. The resulting conflict between the instruments of the gods and the anthem causes the continuous, violent reshaping of the world. As such, numerous dangers exist across the lands, such as primeval beasts, marauders, and world-altering events. It is your job as a freelancer, one of the dauntless few with the resolve to go beyond the fort, to protect and defend your home from these dangers. To start, we have the Jack of Trades, Ranger, who has a completely unique moveset and can be used in just about any playstyle. Their first gear slot is their grenade gear, which allows you to equip different types of grenades such as Frost, Frag, or Seeker. The second Ranger ability is their Assault gear, which has a wrist-mounted launcher that can use all sorts of missiles and darts to take enemies down. Next, we have the Thor-like Storm who is all about using elemental attacks to smite even the mightiest of foes. As a wizard of the Anthem world, the Storm has a lower than most defense, but makes up for that with a high offense. One of the most interesting assets to the Storm is their hover ability, which allows the mech to float over the world at all times. In addition to this, they have access to blast seals, which allow them to use abilities such as lightning strike, living flame, or ice storm. Their focus seals allow them to fire out powers such as fireball, glacial beam, and arc burst. The smallest but most certainly fastest of our javelins is the swift interceptor. The interceptor is all about being quick and weaving its way in and out of dangerous situations. Similar to a rogue, the interceptor will dart in with its high-powered melee ability, double-bladed daggers, and flip their way out of danger before the enemy can even tell they've been downed. The Interceptor's first ability slot is called the Assault System, which has options such as the Acid Bomb, Cluster Mine, and Spark Dash. The second slot is reserved for their Strike Systems, which allows for powers such as a Star Strike, which explodes after a small delay, Plasma Star, which is a plasma-powered shuriken, and Nova Strike, which sends out a projection of the Interceptor, which will attack all enemies it comes in contact with. Last, but most definitely not least, we have our mighty giant, the Colossus. This javelin is the tank of Anthem and is able to pull aggro with its taunt abilities and is so mighty it can crush even the stoutest of enemies with its mighty build when falling from great heights. The Colossus gear slots are divided up into the Ordnance Launcher and the Heavy Assault Launcher gear. 
the Orton launcher has options such as a high explosive mortar, firewall mortar, or shock coils, which emit waves of electricity from the Colossus, damaging all nearby enemies. The heavy assault has abilities such as a heavy cannon, flamethrower, or even a mighty railgun. With so many options to choose from, it's hard to imagine having time to master them all. But between strongholds, contracts, monthly challenges, and story mode, you'll be hard pressed to even have time to check out the amazing free play mode, allowing you to zoom across the world of Anthem, taking on world missions, and even shooting up Gravits. Anthem will easily shape up to be one of this year's most talked about games. Between the change of pace from Bioware to the vast amounts of content being provided not only at the start, but throughout the rest of the year, this game will be sure to capture everyone's attention for some time to come. If you weren't able to check out the VIP demo at the start of this month, choosing the look of your javelin and giving it a test ride will definitely become the best way to spend your free time. I give you Anthem. With its beautiful but deadly world, its super customizable javelins, and so many missions to choose from, it's hard to imagine another game that will be up to par with this beast. With the release date being just next week on February 22nd of 2019, if you haven't pre-ordered this game yet, I would definitely consider it. If you had a chance to check out the demo, you've only experienced a fraction of wonder that this game holds. Let us know your thoughts on the game, and if you are one of the new freelancers in the upcoming months, just know that we look forward to defending Fort Tarsus with you. As always, your feedback is super valuable to us, so please don't hesitate to leave a comment or send us a message. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash gamers among us, or hit us up on Twitter at gamers among. Subscribe to see more of our weekly spotlights right here on YouTube, and check out our podcast Grain of Sand, where we will go into more detail on the games we spotlight. This is Trick Enigma with Gamers Among Us, and have a wild ride.